Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we're going over my August budget um, and that was my goals for the month and I'm just setting my every dollar back to the month of August and you'll see my total income was $5,999.09 and my income actually went up from my primary job or my full-time job from $49,58.96 to $5,558.72 and that's because I got paid for my on-call time. My side hustle came in at $3,904.33 33 in interest from Capital One and $50 from my cash envelope from the month of July. Now here in my savings section, um, you can actually see the balances that are in my sinking funds and my starter emergency fund. I'm going to spend a little bit more time um, in this section looking because everything seems to be off like the current month or the previous month's uh, deposits. And so I need to go back and research that. But you'll see that I put $17.58 into my cushion sometimes the savings from my gas i will put straight into my cushion instead of paying that to debt um, and that's what i did for this particular month because i was merchandising quite a bit and it's a little bit difficult to kind of estimate how much gas i'm going to need and so i actually had an extra tank there so in utilities it was lower than expected instead of 200 it was 194 uh, mobile phones like 6208 and my cable 144.15. I'm circling that because I am going to be calling Xfinity or Comcast or whatever their name is and seeing if I get a better deal. Um, my gas, I actually pay $82.84 and instead of 100 And so $30 from repairs, tires, and license and taxes, that's in my car maintenance fund. Three forty dollars in food, you know, those are cash envelopes. My subscriptions have now gone down to just $2.99. And so that's a good thing. Gym membership, 22. Household, 50. Laundry, 45. Pocket money, 100. And $120 to my sons. Both of their savings, they get $60 a piece. Nothing there. Just an old um, transfer that I have that I never stop. Health insurance, um, I think $113.44. And this section pretty much stays the same with my rental insurance being $23.25. And now down to my debt. For my car loan, I made a debt payment of $2,331.23. And for my student loans, I made a payment of $900. $33.97. So $33.97 was the difference between um, what I projected and what I actually came in for my side hustle. And so I made a snowflake payment to one of my loans and it's the smallest one and I call it Fed Loan E, but that's not what they call it. I think it's number two in theirs. So my total debt payment was $3,265.20. And um, if you're new to my channel, one of the things I want to do is learn to live on 50% or less of my income. And so I actually made a debt payment of 54% of my income that went to debt. And so that's a big milestone for me. So here are my goals and you can see what I set the goal as and what I achieved. 15 no spend days and I completed 21. 2600 to debt, but I actually paid $3,265.20. Track my cash envelopes. So whoop whoop there. And I actually saved $89 from my cash envelopes. That's a milestone for me too. I normally do not save that much. And I used to, if I had savings in cash envelopes, I would go and spend it. But this time it is actually going to debt in the month of September. So I'm very proud of myself. I'm actually spending with control. But thank you guys for watching and happy budgeting. And um, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching my videos. If you subscribe, thank you for that. And those of you who keep returning, thank y'all. I appreciate y'all so much because I couldn't do a lot of this without all of your support and your kind words and your suggestions. It means a lot. You guys have a super fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. Bye.